can do it? Well, first, we need to remember, look back in our pockets of old Jonathan. Perhaps some stuff that we learned from the game before it was shut down. So, can grow it? What is the ruin itself? Well, hmm, how do I demonstrate this? Well, we'll do this by not doing a frog dissection like you probably did in your 8th grade biology class. But instead by doing a calculator dissection. Alright, so uh, we have the cover off. Now just activate the batteries. Not the organ. Oh god, not my scoreboard pen. So the calculator's organs are right over here. So now these are very strange organs because if we look very closely, if we look like really, really, really closely, we'll find that they look exactly the same. They're all triple A size. They all say max out. They're all yellow and white and blue. They all have this weird a green sign, one of them is slightly darker, but they are the same. And in geometry, we don't call things the same, at least not formally, because geometry is weird. In geometry, what we call same is congruent. So congruent is essentially being the same. All right. That's how boring calculator dissection over. Okay, I'm not seriously going to do that to my calculator. So, anyway, now we just have triangle, which is not fitting if we have two triangles. So I'm just going to make there only be one. I mean, it's right. So, anyway, that's what could ruin it. So, naturally, Triangle could ruin it. So if we take that congruent word and combine it with triangle, then we get triangle could ruin it. Well, what could that? Well, first of all, fusion time. Triangle congruent. Well, triangle congruent is obviously triangles being the same. So, how do we find triangle congruent? So, let's say that we have two triangles that are congruent. So, let's say we have this guy. And really, to throw you off from thinking that they're congruent, they won't keep this the exact same formation. They will really rotate it or do some other rigid motion to it so that you don't suspect it's congruent. So, that leaves us with this. Now, how do we determine from this that these two are congruent? Well, one method would be to use the smart board techniques to uh, just see if they're the same. It does work. But we can't do that on the regions because the regions are not on the smart board. Huh, so what do we do? What else can we do? Oh, I got an idea. There are a few techniques, actually. Let's go back to where we were. So, there are a few techniques that you can spot and you can clues that the regions itself gives you. So, essentially, there are five of these. SSA, which is equal to a backwards donkey or backwards, no, I'm not saying the other definition. And then 
Wait, no, it's not SSA. It's SHAS! And then we have ASA. I was thinking, uh, you know, AS, no, 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 you know what, never mind. And then you have, uh, then you have HF, which are essentially the three ones, actually. So, SAS, ASA, and HOPE. Weird names. So, SAS essentially postulates that, let's say, you have uh, two triangles. The, the reason will sometimes give you something like this. So, they will tell you that two sides and one angle are congruent. But using that, you realize that all of the other angles must be congruent as well. Because if you have these two sides and they're equal, then there must be only one other side, and that side must be equal to... So, let me explain that. So, if these two sides are congruent, then there must be one more side for both of them. And that one other side must be of a specific length if these two are of their length. So, let me show you if I, uh, no, no, ignore that, ignore that. Uh, there's absolutely nothing here. This is just your imagination. That's GeoGebra, and GeoGebra is gross. Okay, it's not, but I like that it was better, but I bet it'd be better. Stickman, this is why GeoGebra is gross, folks. So, now, let's get back to our point. Oh, okay. So, if we have this, so I'm actually going to display the length in order to uh, help me determine how they're congruent. Though you can't actually do this in the real region. So now I'm going to hide this length. No, no, unhide. Unhide. Now let's try and form a polygon with the same length and see what the hypotenuse is. Pose. So now, I'm only gonna label this part. Label, label. Label and label. Okay, so now, we have triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F. So first of all, I'm just going to uh, do a little bit of stuff. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything. What? How did I make it? I saw Celine's phone. Anyway, I'm also going to hide the area because, uh, you know, that, no, 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 oh my God, what am I doing? Seriously, you don't know how to use this software, I guess. So now, I'm going to make it 3.28. And it provides us with the fact that one angle must also be congruent. So we're going to get two angles from the regions that are supposed to match up. This issue. Uh, just pretend like that's 98, all right? I'm making it 98. No, 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 no. All right, no. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my God, this is so hard to get perfect. No. Now we have a hundred. Oh, I, I do not get this. Oh, 
Oh, I did it, I did it. Uh... Mm. Oh, you don't know how much of a reliever that was to me. I was working on that for like so long. So now, are these two, are these two uh, really congruent? How do we find out? Well, these two must be congruent because these two sides together determine what the hypotenuse will be. You really want me to show you? Well then, okay. Label, length, 4.95. Four point nine five. Ignore what just showed up there. So, anyway, that means that these two must be congruent. They will always be congruent because. Okay, yeah, I think I will have to make it four point nine six in order for this to work. Length. This will make it so length. All right. So now, let's say we only, only change the side, the, uh, the other legs. So as we can see, doesn't really matter, but the angle here does change. But then, when we change the other legs, we suddenly see the hypotenuse changing as well. So, if you can see it, it's actually changing. So it's over here. So let's follow it. So, that shows that once you change one of the lengths of the legs, then the hypotenuse must be different. So that's how we go about this. So finally, let's go back over here. No, 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 that ain't no, that, that's, that's totally not what we're going to do. What is this? What is this? Uh, five. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Going to have to go back to vibe. That's statistic stuff. But anyway, that's a demonstration of shacks. Now what about acids? Well, that would look like this. So they will give you two angles that will always be collinear, and they will tell you that those angles are congruent. So like this and this are the same, that and that are the same. They indicate that you're in line. So now, how do we prove that the entire triangle is the same just from this? Well, we can prove that by remembering that, so we can prove this by remembering that if these two angles are the same, then the third angle, uh, if these two angles are what they are, then the third angle must be only one specific value. It can be only one specific value. And since the other two angles are the same in both triangles, the third value will be the same in the other triangles as well. And if the, we have determined the angles, we can use trigonometry and stuff like that in order to determine that all of the sides are congruent. Who? What's who? Well, well, I'll tell you what who is. Who looks something like this. What they 
tell you is that one of the lenses can be white. They tell you that it's a right angle, and they tell you that the hypotenuse is tangent. And you can use the same strategy as SAS in order to solve whole. So there are a lot of strategies. So there are a lot of strategies for finding triangle congruence. However, now let's get to our problem of the day. Okay, so our problem of the day is this smiling face. It must be exterminated because of the harm it is doing to humanity and the world. The job is done. So, anyway. Oh no, it still lives on. Okay, the job is done for real this time. So anyway, what we are asked to do is prove that these two angles are congruent. And uh, these two triangles are congruent. So we are told that these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. So now we need to prove that these two are the uh, are congruent. We can't measure the length of the hypotenuse or the area or anything like that. We have to just find it by our own means. In the real regions, they won't even give you these lengths. And these are not white triangles anyway. They're 88 degree triangles. So, how do we prove this? Well, because two of the sides are the same along with an angle, you don't know how much long I took to perfect this, please don't ask. So, that means, sorry, so that means that we can use SAS to determine that these two are the same, congruent. And indeed, if we look at the hypotenuse, uh, the areas, And we look at the third side, they should be the same. 